I think I've finally found the best video editing app for YouTubers and the best part is it's totally free. I've been editing in Premiere Pro for like over 14 years now, but I recently switched because I think this one is even better. It's called DaVinci Resolve and it's a pro level editing software that yes, you can get for free. And no, this video is not sponsored by DaVinci Resolve. Honestly, I was really hesitant to try out another editing software because I've been so invested in Premiere Pro for so long. But ultimately what inspired me to check out DaVinci Resolve was knowing that many of you don't edit in Premiere Pro and you don't necessarily have the budget yet to invest in a Creative Cloud subscription. So I was really excited about teaching myself an editing software that I could share editing tutorials and tips in that I knew would be accessible to you because it has a free version. If you're in this space at all, then chances are you've heard about a lot of YouTubers who have been leaving behind Premiere Pro for DaVinci Resolve. There are a lot of advanced features like color grading and animation that are convincing a lot of these editors to switch. But the biggest draw in my opinion it's free. DaVinci Resolve's free version is incredibly robust for a free app. And the nice thing is if you ever do want to upgrade to get all of the features, it's a one-time payment of about like 300 US dollars. So there's no subscription involved, which of course everybody loves. But in my opinion, with the free version, you can honestly do like 99.9% .9 of what you need to do to create great edits for YouTube. I've actually been editing all of my videos for this channel with the free version for the past couple of months, and I've only recently upgraded. So I think for beginner YouTubers, especially you can go a long time just on the free version like you don't really need to upgrade if that's not enough to convince you then let me tell you about some of my favorite features that are making editing my videos for youtube so much easier and yes all the features that i'm going to talk about are included in the free version don't worry so first something that i love to do to make the little graphics or visual elements that i add on screen just feel a little bit more dynamic is add some movement to them so let's just say i have a thumbnail for a video that i'm telling you to watch after this one and i point up here and i want it to show up and and I want it to like jiggle around a little bit. I'm gonna show you how I do that. So it's very easy. I'm just gonna find the point in my video where I have this lovely expression on my face and I'm pointing to where I want the thumbnail to be. I'm just gonna drag the thumbnail onto the timeline over top of my video, resize it until it's in the position where I want it to be. And then over here in the effects panel, if I click on this little magnifying glass to search and on this drop down arrow, just to make sure I'm searching all folders, I'm gonna search for camera shake. And here I'm gonna find it under the Resolve FX film emulation. And then I'm just gonna drag that onto the clip that I wanna jiggle a bit. From here, usually I'll turn down the motion scale a little bit and the speed scale, just so it's not like jumping around like crazy. And then I'll just play back the video to make sure it looks how I like. Okay, this next effect is really useful for when you have vertical footage that you want to fit into a horizontal timeline. So first, I'm just gonna drag this vertical clip onto my timeline here. And you can see, of course, there are black bars on either side. To get rid of that, I'm gonna go over to my effects panel, which by the way, if this doesn't appear for you, just make sure you click on this effects button up here in the top left and it'll make it pop up. And I'm gonna go ahead and search for blanking fill. I would recommend for any of these effects that you think you're gonna use often, go ahead and click that little star button to add them to your favorites and then it'll be easier to find later. So I'll click and drag this onto my clip and you can see that it's already added a blurred out, stretched out background of that same video to fill out what used to be the black bars. You can actually fine tune the look of this if you'd like by clicking on inspector in the top right hand corner. I personally like to change the zoom mode from stretch to timeline to zoom to timeline. I just think it looks a little bit nicer. You can also change how blurry the background is if you want. Finally, DaVinci Resolve makes it really easy to add an effect that tracks with an object that's moving around on screen. For example, if you're vlogging a lot, you probably find yourself sometimes capturing stuff that you wanna blur out before it makes it to the final public version of the video. Maybe it's an address on a shipping label on a package you're unboxing or a license plate. In either case, it's super easy to blur it out and track the object to make sure that it always stays blurred. So to do that, we're gonna navigate over to the color page here by clicking on this little icon. Now, before you freak out, I know it looks a little bit complicated, but don't worry, the steps we're gonna take here are very straightforward. We're gonna start by selecting the window button here. And in this case, we're gonna use a square because we're trying to blur out a shipping label, which is kind of a square. I can just click on these dots and drag them to kind of outline the shape that ultimately I would like to be blurred. Once we have our shape complete, we're gonna go and click on this tracker icon here right next to the window button. 
button. And then all I need to do is just go ahead and click the play button here and DaVinci Resolve will work away at tracking the item that I've outlined here. Since I happen to draw my box like midway through this clip, I'm gonna go back to my starting point and then press this kind of reverse button to track backwards as well. So now you can see we have a box drawn and the tracking automatically done for us. Now all we need to do is go over and click on this blur button here to bring up those settings. And then we're basically just gonna drag these three bars up here to increase the blur radius. And you can see that my shipping label has become totally blurred out. So now if we pop back over to the edit page by clicking this icon at the bottom and we play back the clip, you'll see that it perfectly blurs out my shipping label even as I move the box around. And yes, this feature is included in the free version. I was blown away when I found that out. All of these effects are a great way to make your video more engaging and therefore increase your viewer retention, which we all know is very important to growing on YouTube. Another great strategy though for increasing your viewer retention is including more B-roll and other dynamic visuals throughout your video. And a great way to do that is with Storyblocks, the sponsor of today's video. Storyblocks has been my personal go-to for years for high quality stock footage to fill in the gaps when I need more visuals for my videos. But they have more than just stock footage though. They also have a huge library of animations, sound effects, background music, and more. Look, the truth is there are so many things that can go wrong in the video creation process. You can get a little overconfident with your drone piloting and end up with a bit of a crash, maybe. You should have just used Storyblocks. You could spend hours trying to teach yourself how to make custom animated titles when you should have just used Storyblocks and found professional text animations in minutes. Storyblocks is really a lifesaver for video creators who need high quality visual assets without all of the pain of doing it for yourself. And the best part about Storyblocks is they offer unlimited high quality downloads of all of their assets for one predictable subscription price. So you never have to worry about expensive paperclip pricing again. To get started with Storyblocks, you can head to the link in my description or just type in storyblocks.com slash Katie. And thanks again to Storyblocks for sponsoring today's video. Honestly guys, I just think the really impressive thing about DaVinci Resolve is that they managed to balance being a really powerful and like flexible pro software with also having this kind of modern and approachable design. As I have switched over to Resolve myself and I've been convincing like the other YouTubers in my life to do so, the biggest reaction has been like, wow, this looks so modern. This doesn't feel intimidating or complex when you first get started the way that I kind of think Premiere can. That's why I think it's such a perfect software for getting started because A, it's free and B, it doesn't feel so scary but it can grow with you as you increase your editing skills, you can start to take advantage of some of the more complex features. Okay, I couldn't let you leave this video without giving you a more proper one-on-one -on -one tutorial. So in case this is the first time that you've come across Resolve, I want you to leave this video confident and ready to dive into it yourself. Okay, so step number one after you've just like open the software is I want you to click over to the edit panel. These are kind of different views of your project for different purposes. For the sake of our 101 lesson here, we're just gonna ignore the rest and only look at the edit view. So let's talk about the layout real quick. We have different sections of the screen that are for different purposes. To help it make sense in my mind, I kind of think of this as like a workflow or a conveyor belt of bringing in raw footage and having it sort of exit the process as like a fully formed final video. So the first step along this conveyor belt is the media pool. This is where we bring our raw footage in. This is where our kind of list of video files and clips is gonna live. The second section that we're gonna look at is the source panel here. You can drag your raw clips in here to review them. And you can also set in and out points before taking just a section of that raw clip into your timeline. Which brings us to our next section, which is the timeline. This is the lineup of clips that make up your final video, which you can preview this final video in this panel here. So this video player is gonna show you your final edit as it plays through in the timeline. So hopefully you can kind of see what I mean, that this is sort of a pipeline from raw footage in the media pool filtered through the timeline where you edit it into that final kind of preview window on the right hand side. Okay, a few other things that you're gonna need to know. The effects panel. We touched on this before to get it to show up as with any 
of these other panels in Resolve, you're just gonna click on the effects button and it'll pop up. You can use the search here to search for effects that you're looking for, maybe like cross dissolve or a text box. From here, you just click on the name of the effect and then drag it onto the clip in the timeline where you want to apply it. Another important panel is the inspector panel. When you've selected a clip in your timeline and you wanna change some of the settings around it, you can click on inspector to bring up all the options. If you're familiar with Premiere Pro, this is kind of your effect controls panel. From here, you can change things like the size or scale of your video or like the volume of your audio. Okay, these are the only sections that I really want you to worry about for right now because if you understand this, you can edit a video. Essentially from there, you can just start importing clips into your media pool and then you drag them onto the timeline to start creating your final video. There are actually two main ways that you can get your raw footage into your timeline. So the first one is what I just described, basically clicking on the clip in your media pool and just dragging it straight onto the timeline. This will bring the entire unedited clip into your timeline with both audio and video. The second option is to first drag that clip into your kind of source panel there. You can preview it and like I was saying before, you can set in and out points by hitting I and O on your keyboard. This basically allows you to trim off the beginning and end if you know you don't want that in your video anyway. And it also gives you the option to bring in either just the video or just the audio. The way I normally do this is with my long kind of talking head A-roll clips, I will drag them directly from the media pool into the timeline. But B-roll, I'll usually bring it through the source panel first. And I tend to end up dragging just the video only into the timeline. And from there, you can just start working through your edit. So cutting out what you don't want to keep. And then eventually adding in music, some of those effects, that I showed you or other visuals maybe that you got from Storyblock. And when you are done, you can click on the little rocket ship tab in the bottom right hand corner. This is the deliver panel and this is basically where you can export your video to like an MP4, which you'll then be able to upload to YouTube. Okay, so obviously I have personally been obsessed with DaVinci Resolve lately, but hopefully I've convinced you to give it a try. If you are kind of feeling overwhelmed by editing in general, then I did want to let you know that my team of video editors over at Creatorly Media is currently taking on new clients. We are super happy to help you by editing your YouTube videos, your vlogs, your video podcasts. So you can check out all the details about that at creatorlymedia.com and I'll have it linked in the description as well. And if you were curious, yes, my team does use DaVinci Resolve to edit. For more editing tutorials from me, check out this video next. And as an esteemed member of the end of the video club, I'd love to know who you are. So drop me a little rocket ship emoji in the comments so I can see who the coolest viewers are. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having adventures and following your dreams and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.